So I'll pull a course level outcome from the institutional level and put it in the rubric and attach it to an assignment. First step will be to go to the outcomes for a course. I have a full I have folder organization, so I'm going to put it in this folder. Those are specific learning outcomes. The only thing at the institutional level will be course level outcomes. So I'm including both institutional level outcomes and I'll have some specific learning outcomes. To get the institutional learning outcomes, I have to go to outcomes and then click on find. It'll say account standards. I want the College of Micronesia. And then I'll need to go into the division, Math Science here, MSSC. And I want the uh, MS150 course level learning outcomes. Again, only the course level outcomes are going to be at the institutional level. So I'm going to import that first one, perform basic statistical calculations. I'm going to go ahead, click find. It'll bring me right back to where I was. I'll bring in the second learning outcome. And one more time, click find, and I'll bring in the third learning outcome and import that in. So I've got the three I want. Now I'm going to use them in a the rubric, but I first had to put them in the outcomes area before I can make a rubric. Outcomes are evaluated through rubrics because they have a scale that you have to click on. I'll do a new rubric, and this one I'll just uh, call it outcome three for me. I don't need this criteria, but I can have criteria mixed with outcomes in the same rubric. So I can have criteria and outcomes. But for the purpose of this exercise, I'm going to go ahead and set up one that's just using the outcomes. So I pick it. I've got to scroll down to the bottom, um, and I'll import it. This one, I can go ahead and get rid of that one. I'm not going to need that. I'm going to go ahead and add my three specific learning outcomes. Now, I set those up at the course level. Again, the specific learning outcomes are not in. I'm clicking on Find Outcome there to get to this place. To go back, the specific learning outcomes are not in the institutional. So I click on Find Outcome, and I can grab my outcomes. And so now I've built a real basic 20-point rubric. This top one belongs to the institutional level. Uh, unfortunately, it, it shows will show this way, but uh, if I need to, I can explain to the students what it is. But it's, it is to some extent described by these. In fact, it will be the sum of these, essentially. And so now I'll just tell it to create my rubric. Now let me go ahead and attach that to an assignment and show you how that gets attached. So I'll go to Assignments, and there's an assignment, and I will attach the rubric. To it. I've got to click on find a rubric to go find that rubric and to my sandbox course because that's where it is. There's my outcome 3, the one I just built. Use this rubric. There it is. And one more step that I uh, that you have to do. I clicked on the pencil there at the top right and I'm going to use this rubric for assignment grading. If you don't do that, you have to then enter the grade yourself. So it does allow you to use a rubric and then enter your own grade totally independent of the rubric. But for me, this will be uh, my grading, so I'll use this rubric for assignment. This is a bit confusing. It says update the rubric. Actually, it's just they should put the word OK or you know save or whatever. We're not updating the rubric because I didn't change the rubric. But um, now I've got to change this thing to, uh, it was a different, so I wanted it back at 20. So there we go, 20 points. I keep playing with the same assignment, so it keeps moving to different levels. So there you can see I've got my uh, four, learning, four learning outcomes, one at the institutional level that will report data back to the institution. Only this first one will report data uh, back to the institutional level. These three will not get reported to the institutional level and will not be output by any institutional level system and will not be seen by in the institutional level system. But I've this one will. And you must pick those up from, as I showed, the outcomes. Um, you must add them into your outcomes from the institutional account up here. 
or uh, the institution will not be able to pull the assessment data automatically. Won't be able to pull the assessment data at all, quite frankly. So that's all there is. You can go up there and uh, look and see. If you, you know, I have gotten some courses in, uh, and you may find your courses in there. If it's not, let me know, and I can work on getting the course level outcomes for your course put in at this level so that they're there for you. Again, course level only are here, and you uh, can then use it on a rubric, and the results will then report out against the course level. So, thanks for considering this and uh, exploring it. If you do explore it, uh, do let me know.